Hello everyone, Emily here. I hope everyone is happy and healthy. I am going to make a cat bed out of this yarn. I have two screen, skeins of red. They kind of look a little bit different colored. So one must be red heart, the other one mainstay. And then I have this little tiny um, ball of pink. And I'm going to be adding some uh, scrap yarn to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and use all three strands at once so I can make this really nice and thick. And I'm this project is going to work up really quick. And I'm excited to just give it a try. So let's go ahead and get all three strands together. And we're going to make a slip knot so we can get started. I'm going to use two reds and one pink. I'm going to do the slip knot. So I'm basically taking my yarn and just tying a knot around the long piece. And then I'm going to put it on my hook. I'm using a pretty good size hook. Because of course uh, three skeins of yarn is a uh, pretty thick. Now I made this, um, put the clay on this hook. I really like how high it goes up, but I covered the size. So I believe that is not a five that's supposed to be a nine because that hook is pretty big. And so I'm going to say this is probably a size nine. I'm going to go ahead and put my yarn on it. I'm going to chain four. So we're going to make the bottom of the bed uh, round. You can make it as large as you want it. You could stop it at any time. And then we're going to do single crochets and that's going to make the edges come up on each side and make the walls. So I'm chain, chaining four. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go into that very first stitch. Now your chain two does count as a double crochet. And you have to kind of be really careful because it'd be pretty easy to mess up with all these uh, three strands of yarn. And I'm going to do a total of 10 double crochets. Go back and look at a, one of my tutorials that shows you how to do that double crochet if you'd like. This is going to be a really fast project because with the three um, ski, three yarns together in this big needle, it's going to work up really quick. This is a really nice quick project to do and you could do so much with this pattern you could see that you'll be able to you could make coasters you could uh, make baskets a cat bed like I did you could just do a lot with this pattern maybe uh, after I start making it I start thinking ooh, you know what I really wouldn't mind having a purse made out of this I really like it so we're not going to do a slip knot and join after we do our 10. We're going to use a stitch marker and we're just going to continue. From here on out, we will be doing um, single crochets and we'll do one row of half double crochets when we get ready for it to start curling up. So that looks really pretty all the way around. It's nice and flat. So 
So we're going to start going around and we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. No slip stitch. We're just going to go right into that next stitch. And I have my stitch marker that I'm going to put on that last stitch so that I know where when I'm going to need to um, change my stitches. And we're going to go right into the openings. We're not going to go into that stitch up above. We're going to go into the openings. We are going to do two single crochets in each stitch, each opening. So just go ahead and do that pattern all the way around. And by doing two single crochets we are going to be increasing which is going to help to keep our project flat here I'm coming to the end where the stitch marker is so where that stitch marker is I'm going to put my I'm going to end with my two single crochets there. And then I'll move that stitch marker right up. Yes, this is an earring I'm using. It works just as well as a stitch marker. So now my pattern is gonna be one single crochet one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets. So I have one and go into the next one. You're going underneath six strands. And in the next one you're going to do one and the next one you're going to do two. So the repeat row is you're going to single single crochet in one, two single crochets in the next one. And this is going to increase again also and it's going to help to keep this flat. So just continue to do this all the way around. You're going to see a pattern here. So this row we did one single crochet, two in the next, and then one. And on the next round we are going to do three single crochets in each stitch and then two in the fourth stitch. So we're coming up here on our stitch marker. Take that off and do my single crochet and put it right back on. So the next row will be three single crochets in the first three stitches and then two si single crochets in the next stitch. 
and we're going to continue to do that all the way around. Now, when we do the next row, we're going to do four single crochets in each stitch and then two in the next. The next row, we will do five single crochets and two in the next. So each row, we're going to be increasing, but we're going to be adding one more single crochet in between them. So that is how we're going to keep our bottom straight. And when I was doing mine, it did look like it was starting to curl a little bit. Don't worry about it. My bottom's really nice and flat right now. I think it just needed that little extra uh, stitches in there. So you just add one more single crochet each round before you do your two single crochets in a stitch. And when I come to my marker, I end what I'm doing and then I start my new pattern. So I'm going to go around, you go around and make yours as large as you want it. And you can stop whenever you want to. You can make it into a planter, use it for a coaster, whatever you want to use yours for. You could make a different project and just use this as your foundation for the bottom. And so I'm just going to keep going around until mine gets as big as I want which I stop when I do 12 single crochets and then two. That's where I'm gonna, that's where I stopped and mine was big enough to fit my cats in it to lay down. You can make yours bigger or smaller, whatever you prefer. I'm having a lot of fun doing this and I already know I want to make another one <laughs> and use different colors but I really like this red and pink. It really looks good together. You can see where I'm at. I have 12 single crochets in between my two and it did curl up a little bit, but I just stretched it all out really nice and tight, and I'm laying it down. It's pretty flat, but it still has a little bit of a, a little curl, but that's okay because I'm going to put the sides on, and my bottom will be nice and flat when I get done. So I'm going to add this new little, um, new colors. And I'm going to go around one row, half double crochets. Then for the rest of the walls, I will be doing a single crochet. So just one row of half double crochets. And then the rest will be single crochets. Oh, look at this. I just have to show you this. I made this for my table for my flowers. Anyway, let's get going on this uh, pet bed. And it's going to work up really fast. Here, um, I'm, it's going up, and you can see where I did that half double crochet, and then just single crochets, so I'm not adding anymore, so it's just curving up like I want it to, and I think it looks great, and I'm really happy with it. It's just so pretty. I just love these colors. All right, so I finished. I made it as tall as I wanted it. My bottom does feel really good, nice and flat. And now I'm just gonna take this edge and I'm gonna fold it over. And I'm gonna do it all the way around. I'm just gonna fold it over. 
just to make my sides look really nice and, uh, and see how nice it just folded right over didn't even give me a problem I'm not gonna sew it together or do anything um, I think it's really nice and colorful I like it a lot the sides are really nice and reinforced my bottom is laying pretty nice let's see if we can find a kitty um, this is Gracie she's walking around and let's see what she thinks what do you think Gracie hey honey what do you think of your new which you'll have to share because there's seven cats oh here comes mr. meow meow so what do you think of this mm hmm oh she's not a bed lady she likes to sleep on top of cushions what do you think mm -hmm. oh 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 yes oh yes she's the smallest besides Coco so she has given a thumbs up she likes it I'm really happy with it it won't be sitting on my table of course um, but I will find a nice place for this little cat bed I'm just so tickled I'm so happy it turned out nice so give it a try it's a, a really nice project and I used uh, quite a bit of my scrap, uh, scrap yarn and you know how you make one of those projects and you just know you want to make another one that's how I feel about this cat bed so have a great day stay safe I will be back soon I hope you will give this a try because your little furry friends are gonna love it thank you bye